Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are on module two, lesson 11, and we are continuing adding fractions and mixed numbers. Okay, so I am going to get started with mine. Here is my first problem. Looks like this. Um, and what I notice is I notice two, com two mixed numbers but I'm going to first look at my steps because these are the steps we've been using. So I'm going to set it up vertically. I'm going to make common denominators using either method. I'm going to then add or subtract. Then if my fractions are greater than one, I'm going to make them proper or less than one fractions, and then I'm going to simplify. Okay, so here is my first problem. Okay. What I'm going to do first is I am going to set them up vertically. So I have six and three sevenths plus four and one half. Okay, I notice that my denominators are different, which means the pieces are, or size of the pieces are different. So I have to have common denominators. The easiest way is if my small denominator fits perfectly into my large one, I know that's my least common denominator. But since that's not the case, I need to find my least common multiple. So I like to start with the largest one and say seven, 14. Okay, I know that two is not a multiple, seven is not a multiple of two, but 14 is. And if I listed all mine, I would actually see that. So I know 14 is going to work. So I'm gonna set up my problem again with my new denominator or my least common denominator. And I'm gonna say, what happened to my seven to become a 14? I multiplied it by two, which means I'm gonna multiply my numerator by two. What happened to two to become 14? I multiplied it by seven, so I'm gonna multiply my numerator. So I am getting six fourteenths plus seven fourteenths equals 13 fourteenths, and six plus four equals 10. Okay, well this is not a fraction that's greater than one for step four. This is a less than one fraction, so I don't need to do that. And 13 fourteenths can't be simplified. So that is my answer. Okay, I'm gonna do one more with you. So here is my next problem and my steps are still the same. I'm going to set it up vertically, find common denominators, add or subtract, change greater than or improper fractions to less than one or proper fractions and then simplify. Okay, so let's read our problem. Franny's making cookies for her soccer club's bake sale. She needs four and five sixth cups of brown sugar for her oatmeal raisin cookies and three and five eighth cups of white sugar for her shortbread. How much sugar is Franny using all together? Okay, so in the story, she's going to be using this much brown sugar and this much white sugar and they wanna know how much she's going to use together. So I'm going to add those. So I'm gonna set up my problem vertically. I'm going to notice that they don't have the same denominator, so I need to change it. Six does not fit perfectly into eight, so I can't use eight. So I need to think of my least common multiple. Well, eight times one, eight times two, eight times three. Oh, 24 works because I know 24 is also a multiple of six. So I'm going to use 24. And notice I did not multiply my numerator or my denominators. I did not multiply them. That's not a good habit. Instead, I take the time and find the least common one. So six times four equals 24. So five times four is 20. Eight times three is 24, so five times three is 15. And now that they have common denominators, now I can solve the problem. So 20 24ths plus 15 24ths 
is 35 24 and 4 plus 3 is 7. Okay, the next thing I want to check to see is if I have a greater than 1 fraction or an improper fraction, and that is greater than 1. So I want to fix that. Now, if you know how to do it on your just in your mind, because you know 24, 24 says 1, and that would be 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, I would have 11 extra. So 35 24 is 1 and 11 24. But there was already 7 holes. So I'm getting 8 and 11 24. If you couldn't do that in your head, well, I know that 35 24 is the same as 35 divided by 24. So I could work that out. And I'm getting 1 with 11 left over. And my denominator stays the same. But again, I already had 7 holes, so it would be 8 and 11 24 and I know I can't simplify that. So that would be my final answer. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's try some together. So here is our paper that we're gonna work on. And our first problem is a word problem. So it says, a banana muffin recipe uses two and one third cups of flour. A blueberry muffin recipe uses two and three fourths cups of flour. How many cups of flour are needed to make both recipes? Okay, so that's an addition problem because I'm gonna use this for one recipe, this for one recipe, and they want to know how much I need for both. So we're going to add both of our numbers. Okay, so we're going to set them up vertically. Okay, and the first thing we notice is they have different denominators. So the easiest way is when the small denominator fits perfectly into the big denominator, but that's not the case here. So we have to find our least common multiple. So I like to start with my largest denominator. So I have four times one is four. That wouldn't work for three. Four times two is eight. That's not a multiple of three. Four times three is 12. Oh, 12 is a multiple of three. So I know 12 is going to be our least common denominator. Okay, so when we set it up, notice that I am leaving myself space in between. I'm leaving a nice area so my work is not squished. Okay, so I'm gonna say, what happened to the three denominator to become a 12? Well, we multiplied by four. So we're going to say one times four is four. What happened to the four denominator be to become a 12? It was multiplied by three. So we're gonna say three times three is nine. Okay, now that they have the same denominator, now we can add. So we have four twelfths plus nine twelfths is 13 twelfths. And two plus two is four. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do when I'm done is step four, and I notice this is a greater than one or an improper fraction. So we wanna fix it. So some of you might be able to see this and know that 12 twelfths is one whole. So 13 twelfths is one whole plus one extra twelfth. But we already had the four still. So total, I have five and one twelfth. Okay, if you don't know how I did that in my head, then we can work it out. 13 twelfths is the same as 13 divided by 12. So we can set it up as 13 divided by 12 and say if I have 13 in my pile, I can make one group of 12 and I'll have one left over. And I'm still going to get the same thing. One and one twelfth. And then when we add our four we already had, we will get five and one twelfth. And that cannot be simplified for step five. So that is our final answer.
Okay, we're gonna do one more together. I'm gonna fold my paper in half to make it a little easier for the camera. And here is my our next problem. Okay, so we're gonna do step one, which is we're gonna set it up vertically. So we have five and five sixths plus two and two ninths. Okay, well, they are different denominators, so we need to change it. The easiest way, remember, is when the six fits perfectly into the nine, but that's not the case here. So now we need to think of our multiples. So I'm gonna come over here. I like to start with my largest factor. So nine times one is nine. That's not a multiple of six. Nine times two is 18. Ah, 18 is a multiple of six because three times six is 18. So 18 is going to be our least common denominator. Notice I did not multiply the six and the nine because then I would have got 54 and I would have created a lot larger numbers or larger numbers than I wanna work with. So taking the time right here is a good idea. Okay. So what happened to our six to become an 18? Well, six times three is 18. So we have five times three is 15. And what happened to our nine to become an 18? It was times two. So two times two is four. Okay, now we can add them. So we have 15 18 plus four 18 is 19 18 and five plus two is seven. Okay, well 19 18 is equal to one whole and one 18 because 18 18 is one whole and then you have one extra. But we already had seven holes, so our total answer is gonna be eight and one 18. And that cannot be simplified. So that is our final answer. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, on your homework tonight, they set it up really weird. They set up all these boxes for you to fill in on numbers one, two, and even three. You do not need to do that. You're just going to look at the problems, the problems that they have, and you're just gonna set it up and do it as we've been doing it. If you need scratch paper, grab lined paper. Okay, have a great night. Good night.